Lightning above and a fire below me. You cannot catch me, cannot hold me. You cannot stop, much less control me. When it rains, it pours. When the floodgates open, brace your shores. That pressure won't keep What's going on, guys? It's me, Dan from Nagar Films, here. I'm back with episode 6, which means this is week 1 of the regular season. We are going up against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Anyway, we're going to start off right here, uh, running with Jarek McKinnon, who we acquired from uh, the Minnesota Vikings. And he, for what he is, is just a baby. He's a baby AP. That's what he is. Baby AP. That's, that's the new nickname from now on. He will be referred to as on this channel as Baby AP because this guy is fast, this guy is strong, and as soon as I say that, he gets a two-yard loss. Oh my god, come on, man. Come on, Baby AP. Anyway, we are just driving down the field here on Pittsburgh, and, you know, during halftime during this game, I had to check which difficulty this was on, and, you know, I couldn't find it, but, you know, I checked after the game, and it said all pro. But, you know, the end result might not look like it. Oh, <laughs> spoiler alert. Anyway, that's what he pretty much did the entire game with Ben Roethlisberger. He just kept throwing up to that left side. I don't know what, what matchup he saw there. I don't know if it was glitch, but look at the run right there by Le'Veon Bell. And this guy is just explosive. Honestly, last year, when they said when they said his name, I didn't know who he was. <laughs> like, who's Le'Veon Bell? Now I know who Le'Veon Bell is. Like... He's a pretty good player, maybe a little overrated, you know, but who cares, who cares, he is a good player, uh, I think he will be this year, um, as long as he doesn't get suspended again, and that's the other thing, the Patriots play them without um, Le'Veon Bell, Martavis Bryant, and the, the, the trans, the, oh, oh, the, oh man, what a catch by Julian Edelman, but the Pittsburgh Steelers uh, defense is just gone down the toilet. Actually, their whole team really has the end of renovations everywhere. They don't have Marcus Pouncey as we hit them with that sneaky little out route. And we score with Brandon LaFell, and it is 10 nothing right now. So, in real life, I'm recording this one day before the actual game. Um, I'm pretty sure the Patriots are going to win. If they don't win, I'm going to be so sad, man. I've talked so much trash in school, it's not even funny. The teachers, the fellow peers or whatever they call him but look Le'Veon Bell is just a god in this game he, they made him so good right there Malcolm Butler could not get the interception and yeah if you guys want to look at the depth chart just go back and look as we get an interception right there with Mathis who is another uh, corner we signed I just looked at the top of the free agency for corners and I found him as we throw a dot to Gronkowski and Brady is playing flawlessly right now he is absolutely on fire. He is throwing dots. He's completing underneath, up top to Gronkowski. Just everywhere. Every well, Look at that pass. He threw a dot to Brandon LaFell. I thought for sure that would be intercepted. And Gronkowski, three Steelers around him as he breaks his hip there and replaces it because he is, in fact, the hip replacer. Anyway, we were winning. Uh, like, I, I mean, at halftime, I was like, what the heck is going on? 17 nothing. Uh, they, it gets a little bit better for the Steelers, but, you know, not really. Antonio Brown is, I don't think he was targeted one time this entire game. It was it was literally just Le'Veon Bell, uh, Marcus Wheaton, and uh, Martavis Bryant. That was, that was about it right there. Dree Archer stumbles a little bit and couldn't get it. But I do, in real life, have respect for the Steelers. You know, I think they're a good team. As we get an interception with our other starting corner, Logan Ryan, who's also an 81 like Mathis, and we throw it to Gronkowski right over the middle. A huge play right there, and the accuracy is just on point. Unfortunately, uh, he throws it out of bounds right when I say his accuracy is on point, so I, I should just stop saying that they're good at something because in the next play they'll just be bad. Nice little cheeky out route right there to Almondola. That gets batted down. Second and ten, we find Gronkowski in the flats. We're just really trying to hook up with Gronkowski. Third and five, we use Ben Tate, who we also uh, got from free agency for the running backs. He is very fast very powerful and he is awesome right there third and 15 we just give it to Gronkowski over the middle and settle for a field goal because we are winning 20 nothing with 210 uh, in the third quarter in this game looks like a blow and I know there's gonna be comments you're playing on rookie I swear to God I am NOT playing on rookie I swear I am NOT as he burns us deep over the top right there to Martavis Bryant number 10 
He just kept, I don't, him, I think Logan Ryan is matched up against Martavis Bryant, and Roethlisberger just must see something there as he hands it off to Le'Veon Bell, who is just picking up yards, but right there we get a nice stuff, second and 13, I did not expect another run, and I uh, fully pass commit, and but for some reason we still got our drive goal complete, which is also new in this game, it gives you drive goals, and if you complete them, it gives you XP to get, level up your uh, characters and this sounds like an MMORPG I know it sounds sort of nerdy but it doesn't matter it's I, th I like the feature second and seven we're running the ball with McKinnon trying to waste some time third and six we get it to the Gronk and uh, fourth and inches I just decide to punt it away because this game it, to me it looked like it was pretty much over but then I realized that uh, I had 20 points, not 21, so they just need two touchdowns, and they beat me here. As he goes deep up over the top, trying to hook up with his receiver, that is not going to happen. Roethlisberger fires over the middle to find his, uh, his other target, Heath Miller. And Roethlisberger just has so much, so many targets as we get in neutral zone and fraction right there on the next play, so that gives them a five-yard advantage. He throws it for Martavis Bryant, where it's caught by Martavis Bryant, and he is just driving down the field here. Uh, right there is Antonio Brown. So he's hit Brown. Oh my God, again. Malcolm Butler almost intercepted it. It's like, come on. And we try to stop Le'Veon Bell behind the line, but he just muscles through. And Le'Veon Bell is just such a clutch running back in this game. And Roethlisberger's finding Antonio Brown, Martavis Bryant right there, Marcus Wheaton. He's got his guy, Heath Miller. He, this team is just loaded. Unfortunately, Martavis Bryant and Le'Veon Bell won't be playing the Patriots in the first. What did I say? Unfortunately, I meant fortunately. Um, right there, hand off to Baby AP again. We're just trying to run up the middle. He got his head caught on the lineman's armpit. I, that was a very scary image. Uh, I'm sorry, but we're going to take the wussy way out right here. We're going to knee it. I accidentally, well, I know I purposely called a timeout. I was trying to kick a field goal, but I, I accidentally kept pressing the button too quickly. So I called a pass play, and uh, we throw it to Gronkowski and kick the extra point, and that was a pretty epic moment. Gronkowski is coming up big for this team. Overall, I think we played, uh, we outplayed them. Uh, we deserved that win. But, uh, yeah, Roethlisberger just kept throwing it up to Martavis Bryant, and uh, we just stopped that all day. We got an interception with Mathis, interception with uh, Logan Ryan, and, uh, yeah, Malcolm Butler is an official member of the SWAT team, baby. He came in and swatted two, count them, two, down onto the ground. If only he could have intercepted them. I'm pretty sure each time he would have, you know, got a pick six right here. Nice, look at these highlights. Perfect pass from Brady. And uh, I forgot what it feels like to play with a good quarterback because the, the past two franchises that I have played in Madden for YouTube have been the Eagles, and I've used Robert Griffin the third, and I've also used the lawyer, Fitzpatrick himself, the lawyer, come on, on the Texans. And uh, that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. Comrades, subscribe, Ramirez Veggies, go to school, Dan Carr Films, out. Peace!